Welcome back for another Super Magnet Man video. One of the things that's all the rage these days is 3D printers. And so I want to take a minute and tell you how you can do some things with magnets and 3D printers. One of our challenges for a long time has been making a magnet that holds vertically. So we wondered how can we help solve that problem with 3D printers. 3D printers are accurate enough to where we can print so the magnets are press fit into them. And this has an O-ring. Notice this, I have, these are 500 gram or one kilogram for a dead weight. Put it on the board and that holds the weight. I even took it to the, to the extreme and I said, let me make three of these. So I put three of these together. This is an eight pound dumbbell and I hang the eight pound dumbbell from this one. That is a lot of weight to be holding with magnets against a whiteboard. I even went and said, what if we make something like a water bottle holder? This allows us to just hang our water bottle. There we go, on here. One other thing, I needed to mount a, a light, an LED light, so I 3D printed these brackets, made room for the magnets, pressed them in, and now I have a bracket that holds up this and I can remove it when I need to. I also looked at this because I've had a number of people in the past that have wanted rings, and you know we have carried wedding rings for a very long time that a wide variety of people have used, but one of the things they frequently would ask is how do you make one radially? Well, radial was a lot more expensive and a lot harder, but I found out that if I 3D printed my own wedding ring and put it on, I have 10 magnets inside of this that are all pointing inward. So now I have the magnets pointing straight in and I have this ring. You can design any shape that you'd like. I also wanted to make an icosahedron and you've seen these with all kinds of little uh, magnets, kits and everything where you put the balls together, steel balls and the magnets. And I said, well, instead of doing just that, I'll just 3D print my own plastic pieces and press fit the little five millimeter diameter by two millimeter thick N50 magnets in here and gives me the 3D printed icosahedron like this. So uh, there's many things we can use with a 3D printer and magnets. You might ask, how do we make this work? Let's take a look at one last example that's our fun example. We even have a fun little project with a ball and a basketball goal we 3D printed and there it is. First, we want to take a look at the magnet. On these whiteboard magnets, what I'm actually using is our magnet R1050. It is an eight pole ring magnet. They have magnetized it so that every 45 degrees, the pole changes. What that does is makes it stick very well to a surface. It'll stick to the surface of something very thin and do extremely well. The second thing is that alone would not do it. I needed the rubber O-ring, and I have a rubber O-ring around the outside of this, so I made my groove the right size in the 3D printing so that I could put an O-ring around this ring. Now, it is going to resist. It is gonna give me the friction that I need to resist sliding in any direction. And you can see that's what we did with the three rings. But one of the things I wanted to point out here is I've got two different types of rubber. You can order many different types, but what I was looking for is what's called a low durometer, D-U-R-O-M-E-T-E-R. -E -E low durometer, that is a soft rubber so that it would squash out when a magnet presses flat, it would really squash the magnet out, the rubber out and make the rubber bite hard on that board and keep it from sliding. And so that's what we've done. And you also want to make sure that the magnet sits a little bit below, a couple of tenths of a millimeter below the surface of the rubber so that the rubber has a chance to spread out. If it doesn't have a chance to spread out and it's too deep, then it isn't doing you any good. But that's the way we designed those. Now let's take a look at what that eight pole ring magnet looks like. We have a piece of viewing film and I have an eight pole magnet like this and here we have the ring and now you can see how the eight poles 
are oriented around here as it's changing poles. This allows the flux to really travel between each magnet, each pole of the magnet, and that makes it stick very well. So as you're working on 3D printing projects or you're thinking about 3D printing projects, you might want to look at a way to put magnets into the process. And this is some of the things that I have found that works really well. So if you're looking for fun things to do with magnets, add the 3D printer to the list.